Let's go. And we will see. midweek on the first week of the month of May 2023. Today is Wednesday, 3rd May 2023. And this is your lab boy today, here with you as ever. Divine uplifting and connection. That's the topic that we want to discuss and we want to pray about today after reading from the scriptures. So, get set. Let's go first read from the scriptures in the first book of Samuel in chapter 16. And that reading will be continuing from where we stopped yesterday. And that will mean today we are taking off from the 11th verse. Are you set? Let's go. And Samuel said to Jesse, Are all your sons here? And he said, There remains yet the youngest, but behold, he is keeping the sheep. And Samuel said to Jesse, Send and fetch him, for we will not sit down till he comes here. And he sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy and had beautiful eyes and was handsome. And the Lord said, Arise, anoint him, for this is he. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brothers. And the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon David from that day forward. And Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. Now the Spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord tormented him. And Saul's servant said to him, Behold now, an evil spirit from the Lord is tormenting you. Let our Lord now command your servants who are before you to seek out a man who is skillful in playing the lyre. And when the evil spirit from the God is upon you, he will play it and you will be well. So Saul said to his servants, provide for me a man who can play well and bring him to me. One of the young men answered, Behold, I have seen a son of Jesse, the Bethlehemite, who is skillful in playing, a man of valor, a man of war, prudent in speech, and a man of good presence, and the Lord is with him. Therefore, Saul sent messengers to Jesse and said, Send me David your son. Who is with the sheep? And Jesse took an ass laden with bread and a skin of wine and a kid and sent them before David his son to Saul. And David came to Saul and entered his service. And Saul loved him greatly. And he became his armor bearer. And Saul sent to Jesse saying, let David remain in my service, for he has found favor in my sight. And whenever the evil spirit from God was upon Saul, David took the lyre and laid it with his hand. So Saul was refreshed and was well, and the evil spirit departed from him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
when you talk about divine uplifting and connection, God will always use what he has already put into you. For David in this case, his mastery of musical instrumentation. And in fact, David was simply multi-talented. We've seen so many people who on account of music have been to places. In fact, if you need, let me remind you, in my country, Nigeria, perhaps the richest Nigerians now are those in the music industry, in the sports industry, those who have developed their talents one way or the other. And these are not even necessarily people who recognize that the uplifting is of the Lord. So can you now imagine if you are of the Lord and then you are able to sharpen your skills and develop your talents? It will just be like the scriptures have always said it, that a man's gifts will open doors and gates of opportunity for the opportunity for him. Can you imagine somebody, David, knew how to play musical instruments and that led him into the courts of the king. And from playing musical instruments, he became the armor bearer. He, now it was no more on part-time basis. He requested that Jesse, his father, should, should release him completely. And that's why I must tell, especially you young people, what are those opportunities that you need to sharpen around you? Your IT skills, information technology, your ability to use the computers, it will always help you. Your ability to write essays, your ability to read and understand and reconstruct literature, they will always help you. Your ability to play musical instruments like that of David, your prowess in sports, your ability to sing, to, 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 to recite the scriptures, to do so many things will always open doors for you. And you must recognize that all of these things must be consecrated to God. Because if it is not in God, yes, you may prosper in the way of the world, but the best prosperity, the real prosperity, is that which is in the Lord, with divine uplifting and connection, coming from the giftings that the Lord has put into you, but that you have developed by yourselves. Our time is fast spent. You want to be in the Lord, perhaps you already have some giftings already, so perhaps all you need now is for you to be in the Lord. Well, perhaps you don't even yet recognize whether you have any gifting or, or not. You come into the Lord, let the Holy Spirit lead you, let the Holy Spirit guide you, so that you will discover, because there is no human being in whom God has not put something, something special in you that you need to discover, and after discovering, sharpen, make to be um, uh, skillful, yourself skillful in it, let your dexterity come out in those areas of giftings and then use them for the Lord and you'll be sure how the Lord is going to bless you and give you divine, when it's divine, it's the best form of uplifting and connection. If you are set to give your life to Christ so that you can also start that divine connection of being in the Lord and with the Lord in your spirit right now, then just say this prayer after me, say, Lord Jesus, I come to you right now. I want to be connected with you. Forgive me of all the sins of the past that I never accepted you as Lord and Savior. Today, I declare that I want divine uplifting and connection. I accept you as Lord and Savior. Use me for your glory from today as you accept me as one of yours. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. If you just said that prayer, welcome to the fold of Christ. You need to find the Bible of the Living Church where your skills can be sharpened the more and your connections can also be extended. I always invite people to come to the Anglican Church, Urukiya Seed Extension, Ushubu where you can grow in the faith. For now, we still worship in the chapel hall of the Olive Branches Middle and High Schools, Onyiko, and Gukyumi Bodu Drive, Uropi Estate Extension, Ushubu. But if you also connect divinely to the Lord, your skills, your talents, you can put at our disposal. Perhaps even it's your uh, funds that you can put at our disposal to build a befitting purpose, church building for the Lord, the account details are on the screen right now. And as you go home right now, I believe I've told you that if you want to join us for our midweek services on Tuesday by 5 p.m. And if you want to join us for our Sunday services at 9 o'clock in the morning. And as you go right now, this midweek, say this prayer, say, Father, 
Help me to always walk in obedience to your commands. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So go out today, recognize that there are divine upliftings and connections. Tap into them and it will be well with you. God bless you. Amen. You are